Hey everyone, what's up? It's Chapman here, and on this Tutorial Tuesday, I am going to show you how to turn these guys into a literal honey factory. Complete with a bottle reloading system too. These are the items that you are going to need for everything that we are building here today. I am just going to be putting 18 of them together. Okay, so 18 beehives, 18 dispensers. So this is everything that you're going to need in order to build what we're building today. But if you want to expand it, if you want to expand it and do your own thing, this is everything you need per beehive, including three bees. You need three bees for every beehive or bee nest. And these are the items right here for the reloading system. Okay, so if you want to go like mega jumbo style, go for it. Okay. And the first thing that we're going to do for this farm is we're going to start with the actual B modules themselves. And to do that, we are just going to simply place down a barrel with two hoppers coming into it like so. A beehive on top of the first hopper with grass in front of it and then a flower. Behind the beehive, we are going to build up two blocks in total. And this is so that we can place a dispenser facing down with a hopper going into it. And then three solid blocks coming out from the back side of that hopper. You want to make sure that your beehive or your bee's nest is facing forward towards the yeah, flower. Coming to the back side here, we're going to place down a comparator with some redstone dust. A solid block off of the redstone dust. Glass above the redstone dust with another solid block. And this is so that we can cover all of this with some redstone dust. And with that all done right there, that is what your B module should look like. We are going to need to put some glass in front of this flower in order to contain the bees. And on the left side here, over top of the barrel. But basically what's going on here is that comparator right there is going to detect whatever honey level this beehive is at. It then outputs that signal and when it gets to max, it dispenses either a bottle or shears whenever they're in this dispenser and collects all of your honey from the beehive. Now all we need to do is literally just repeat that for however many modules that you want. I am going to be doing 18, so 9 and 9 is 18. I'm going to even turn the corner on mine just because. Okay, and with all of your B modules done and complete, that is what you should have right there. So I have 18 of them in total. Again, I suggest you do a whole bunch of them if you really want some honey fast. Now it is just simply time for you to get your bees in place and to shuffle them all in and start breeding until you have enough. Again, remember, three bees for each one of these things here. An easy way to shuffle these guys in, especially if you have made like a little corner like I have here, is uh, we are just going to release some of these guys. We will capture all of our bees and then we are just going to walk them and hopefully this works. into place and just kind of funnel them i don't know if it worked actually i got enough of them in there to start breeding so everything is peachy but once you've got enough bees in there your only thing left to do now is to actually start breeding them right like that but that is basically going to be up to you and yeah, just remember three bees for everything. So just breed and breed and breed until you have bees. If you do have enough bees though, and you don't want to breed them all up, another trick that you could do is you could just kind of wait until nighttime. And then all you have to do is just get enough of these bees close by and they should sink to whatever beehives you have here. And just auto link to whatever beehives that you have here. But you do got to keep them close by though because they can get a little bit of annoying. And then once daytime comes, you can see just how many bees that you have here in total. But once everything is complete, that is your bee farm done and complete right there. Now it is time for us to work on the refill station, just to make this thing a little easier to keep up on. And to start this right here beside this first hopper, we're gonna place down a solid block with two more solid blocks coming out from underneath it or below it, and another solid block right there at the end. We're then gonna place a comparator in between those two solid blocks. Coming around to the back side, we are gonna place down two solid blocks and then step it down. And then we are going to dig out a three wide area that is five blocks long in total. And with that done, we're going to place down a saw block in the corner to complete the stairs. And then we are just going to simply from the top here, run a repeater with three pieces of redstone dust, another repeater that goes into a solid block with a redstone torch in the center. 
Above that redstone torch, we're going to place down a solid block with a honey block on top of it and then a fence gate off of that solid block. In this back corner here, we're going to place down another solid block with a detector rail and then a temporary rail to make it pop up with two more powered rails coming out from that. We can then remove this one, place a solid block on top of it, place a comparator beside this detector rail with a redstone block to the right of it, an observer facing into that comparator, and then a sticky piston facing into this honey block. With that complete, we are just going to simply place a temporary block here with a hopper going into it. And with that complete, we are just going to simply come over here and we are going to step our way down we are going to run our powered rails all the way up to the top, place a regular rail, and then run nothing but powered rails across all of these hoppers with a regular rail in the corner, and then bring them all the way out to the other side. Once you're at the end here, just place down a solid block with a glass block beside the beehive, a redstone block, and then another solid block on the top. Finish this off by running two powered rails and then a regular rail in the corner, Place one redstone block in the corner. Power all of these rails here. Another redstone block beside this comparator. And with that complete, that is your reload system done and complete right there. The only thing left to do now is put the minecart in place. But in order to do that and not have it kind of continuously run because you can see that gate is open right now, what we need to do is we need to fill this dispenser with some water bottles and the hopper in the front here. And as you just heard, the gate is now closed and we can put our minecart in place with a chest above it going into that hopper. And this is where we are going to load all of our glass bottles. Now, once the minecart is completely filled with your glass bottles, this is what everything should look like. So you should have a separation between that sticky piston and the honey block. What you are going to want to do is you're just going to flick this repeater really quickly. So turn that on and then off again. And as you can see, what we want is we want that to be behind the gate. And now how this system works is once this hopper right here loses one item. So we're going to pull one item out of this dispenser. The minecart is going to send out, reload all of the hoppers here. Return, refill, and then sit in place. So when this hopper is full, this dispenser is full, that minecart is full, and everything here is lit, that is what you want everything to look like right there. So with that complete, the only thing left to do now is to literally go around and manually fill all of these dispensers with some water bottles. And with your water bottles all in place, if you have a couple of them that have reached max output and haven't fired yet, all you need to do is just take the redstone out and then repeat it, and everything will go back to normal. So you can see here, I've got a couple of them. Now those have fired. We're going to do the same thing over here because I have two of them. And once everything's full and everything looks good, all you need to do now is just continue breeding your bees until you have enough of them in order to fill all the system. And once you are completely full on bees, that is what everything should look like right there. And as you can see, we already have... We have sunny, we have seven honey. We have seven honey from this so far. We probably just got a bunch more right there. But it's important to remember, just remember, that all of these dispensers have to be absolutely full with everything. Otherwise, honey blocks are going to go up into these dispensers, which we don't want. We want them to go into the hoppers below. And then another trick to not having to use so many bottles is you can see you can put a couple of shears in here too. So you can also start collecting the honeycomb from these. But you are going to have to pay attention to whatever level they get to. Like I think this one down here. So you can see we get 238 uses from just these shears right here i think i'm not quite sure you might want to make them unbreaking it's totally up to you just remember that those dispensers have to be full otherwise honey goes upwards instead of downwards you may also want to put an indicator light coming off of this chest here to let you know when you are getting low on bottles so whenever that light goes out you're basically just gonna have whatever's left in these hoppers here so you could always do something like that too as well and right now that is everything that we have in here and so far all of my hoppers and everything are completely full so what i am going to do i'm going to do a one hour time lapse just to see how much we get from these 18 little bee farms okay and it hasn't quite been an hour but look at all the honey we have so far 
and the honeycomb. This is enough to make 27 honey blocks and yeah. That's why you're gonna wanna put a whole bunch of these things in place or put a chunk loader nearby. And if we look, the first hopper here is completely full and every single hopper behind it is gonna be either full or with just one at 63 depending on what it is but they always stay full because the minecart fills once when it goes and then once again when it comes back so everything normally stays tippity top right up and everything is tippity top right up right now but there it is there's your bee farm there's your honey farm like i said make this thing as big or as giant oh you can't jump in place i forgot you need jump boost there's your honey farm thanks for watching love you guys see you on the next one peace I can't get out of here. Peace.